What is involved in an American English pronunciation training session? Well, that varies greatly based on our clients' needs. At first, we'll listen to our clients um, in their natural speech, and we can determine where they're at and where we need to start. Some clients will start by working on those sounds that aren't in their primary language that are in the English language. We'll first just work on identifying if they can hear that sound in words and in sentences, comparing them to sounds that are very similar to that sound, then working on teaching them where to place the tongue and the lips and how far open or closed to put their jaw to produce that sound. After they're able to produce that sound in isolation, we'll help them practice pronouncing that sound in different positions of the words, when that sounds in the beginning of the word or the middle of the word or the end of the word. And I'll work, we'll work our way up a hierarchy to producing that sound in words in short phrases, to longer sentences, to more structured, longer texts like oral reading or answering a little question, to then cueing them to use that sound in natural conversation. Other clients may have pretty good handle on how to produce the sound in words and sentences, but just may struggle occasionally when that sound is in a certain context. So that type of client, we may more be listening to them produce speech in a context that they're working on. Maybe they're working on, um, they have an interviewing interview coming up and they wanna practice that interview and get feedback on their pronunciation and intonation and stress that they're using. Maybe they have a big presentation coming up and they wanna give us that presentation and get feedback on their speech we can really customize it to our client's needs. So we'll work on those contexts wherever the client is at, work on cueing. Some of our clients want to work on figurative language. They may be in meetings all day and they're hearing, you know, these phrases and idioms, those nuances of different cultures, and they may keep a list for us and want us to go over some of those idioms with them and help them to um, know when it would be appropriate to use that phrase or idiom or to whom it would be appropriate or not appropriate to use. So we can work on that as well. Several of our clients like to come to us at the beginning of the session with some of those phrases or idioms, or they come to us with a difficult speech situation that happened in the week. You know, maybe they went to the deli counter and they tried ordering something and the person at the counter didn't understand. We can go over that word and kind of problem solve what the pronunciation difficulty might have been to cause that communication breakdown. After our sessions wrap up, we always, you know, talk about with our clients a practice word list. We'll provide them with those, whether it be words, it could be phrases, it could be idioms, for them to practice through the week. We will always send an audio recording of their instructor pronouncing those words for them or producing those phrases and sentences so that the client throughout the week can listen to that and just be doing their own practice. I know, you know, everyone has such busy lives. This is a great way. Just pop in, you know, your earbuds when you're on a walk or play a recording in the car. That way you're getting that practice so that you have these words practice mastered by the next session. We're open to anything else, pronunciation or stress or figurative language that a client wants to work on with, with us and um, make our, you know, make our sessions customizable for our client.